the challenge problem for today is to find the lowest common ancestor of two given nodes in a binary tree so you are given a binary tree and mind you it's not binary search tree it's just a binary tree okay so you are given a binary tree and in that you are given two nodes and you have to find the lowest common ancestor of both so for example let's see 60 and 100 so the lowest common ancestor of both of them is 80 okay and the ancestor of 60 is 80 and 40 ancestor of 100 is 80 and 40 similarly ancestor of 15 is 10 20 and 40 so basically you have to find for two nodes which is the lowest common ancestor so let's say find the lowest common ancestor of node 1 and 25 so for 25 if we list so it is 30 20 and 40 and for 1 it is 5 10 20 and 40 so the first lowest the lowest common ancestor is this one which is the node 20 is the lowest common ancestor okay so this is the lowest common ancestor but how to find that out and we are dealing with binary tree even though i have given uh, an example of binary search tree but it is a general binary tree where any values can be anywhere okay so what to do how to find that out so we make a few observations let's see so we have in order traversal of the binary tree and what happens in in order so we know it is left root and then right so it means first it caused the left subtree then it left child it caused the left child in order left child and then it prints the value of root and then in order right child so it means what if we see so let's see so at node 10 what happens so everything to left of it is in the left child and to the right is 15 so here it is the so similarly if we see 40 here so everything to the left here so this is all of them are from the left subtree to so you see 20 is in the left subtree 30 is in left subtree 35 is in left subtree and everything to the right are the right subtree similarly now we see post order so post order what is the rule it is left then right and then root so if we see here so the root comes in the end in the post order traversal so now the question is can we use this property so if we see a smaller subtree let's say 10 so we see this is 10 here and everything to left is 1, 5. So let's see. So, so 1, 5, 15. So all its subtrees left and right are before the root which is 10. So first we see in the left everything is the left subtree. Then after that follows the right subtree. So the thing is for each subtree the root is at the end in the post order traversal so can we use something like this and let's see one more thing okay so if i take 1 to 15 so this is 1 this is 15 so anything in between is basically what so it is like an in order so we take in between these things so they are becoming these two parts so let's see of some bigger picture 80 and 1 okay 80 and 1 so what is the relation let's see so between 80 
and 1. So what is happening? So here is 80 and 1. So all the things so which is there or so we see something like this should be now. So we see 40 is there and then 60 is also there. Okay. So 60 this is included. So all this thing is there now. So all the in between elements that were traversed between 1 and 80. So those are there. So even if we take one smaller example with let's say some different color 1 and 30. Okay. So between 1. So this is 1 and 30 if we take. So what property we see 1 and 30. So we have 25 here. So with whatever nodes we traverse in in order which comes here. So all are there. So 1. So 5 is there. So 10, 15, 20, 30. So all are there. So it means so in order. So what we do? We take the in order traversal and 1 and 25 if I want to find the lowest common ancestor I will choose this in the 1 and 25 so let's see so we choose these two 1 and 25 are our elements and in between whatever is there so we have 5 10 15 and 20 so these are traversed in between so these are the possible candidates for the lowest common ancestor okay because this is the in between nodes that are traversed so what happens now we check the post order traversal to find which is the root element so if we see here so 5 we make a map 5 is number 2 here then let's see 10 so 10 is number 4 in the in in the post order traversal let's say 15 is where so it's third and now let's see 20 so 20 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 20 is on 8th in the post order so this means this is the one which is the root of these all because what happens in post order the root of a subtree comes in the end so we see that in order we found out a subtree okay so between these two what are the subtrees we found out okay and then what i do i find the root of that subtree so i see that i found out the ranks of these and then i found that okay 20 is the last one that is coming in the post order traversal there so this is the root okay so this is the root of that subtree and the first root where this which is the ancestor of both 1 and 25 so this is the algorithm lc algorithm you are given int x int y so what i do perform in order traversal write it down perform post order traversal let a be the list of all elements between x and y in the in order traversal that's what i did i wrote between 1 and 25 there was 5 10 15 20 i wrote them out in the post order traversal find which element in a comes last that is element is the lowest common ancestor then i found i made a map that 5 is the second element in post order 10 is the fourth element 15 is the third element and 20 is the eighth element so 20 is the in the subtree and it is the lowest common ancestor okay and we use some of the properties that in in order traversal all elements to the left are of root are part of the left subtree all to right are from the right subtree so what it says that all elements before the root are part of the what it is the part of the left subtree so if 20 is the root so of a subtree then 10 5 1 and 15 are to the left 
and 30 25 35 are to the right so this is for the in order property and in post order root comes in the end all in the left are from the left subtree then after that from the right subtree so we saw here that in the post order traversal so if we let's say take the 10 as the root of that subtree then 10 comes here in the end 1 and 5 which are the left part of the subtree comes here then comes the right subtree so these are the properties that we use and then we find out that in in order we list all the elements that are between the x and y which is 1 and 25 then i find which one comes in the end in the post order traversal and that is the lowest common ancestor so i hope you understand this video and it's just order of n okay where n is the number of elements in the tree so i hope you like this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and share this video among your friends thanks a lot